I have to make a wooden wall with a wooden wall framing. But now I realize that there is not a 90 degrees angle here. I have already cut the bottom and the top plate with the correct angle. But now, when I put here the wall stud, we see that in the front it won't be even. Here we see it better. This is the bottom plate. And the wall stud goes here. If I want it flat against the other wall, I have to tilt it like this. But now this corner protrudes the front of the wall framing. And because the particle board goes here, I have to cut this corner. And I have to cut it all along the wall stud. Then the angle is the same as in the top plate and the bottom plate. So I have to tilt the circular saw cutting disc to that angle. Perfect. I also set the height of cut so that only one tooth of the cutting disc protrudes below the wood. So let's see what I came up with to cut it using the circular saw. I have clamped the end of the strips with a couple of clamps. A metallic bar clamp helps to keep the wooden strips together. And here we can see this small strip. I use a spring clamp to hold it there. This is the wooden strip that I want to cut. Here we can see a test cut. Next, another identical wooden strip. And next, this one is sideways, so it will be the fence. This small strip is to have the right distance from the fence to the cutting line. And here I screwed some wooden stops so that the assembly doesn't move laterally. Rip cutting strips, slats or planks of wood with any circular saw always increases the danger of a kickback. But well, it is what I have to make this cut. Okay, now I see that I have to put this like this, so I can put the clamps at the front. I put here another clamp, just to make sure that the wooden strip that I am cutting is not going to move. And if you notice, I always start cutting outside of the table. And yes, I am cutting a shallow slot on the tabletop. Now I have to finish this cut. Here I have everything more or less the same. 
But since I cannot put the metal clamp ahead of the circular saw, I have to hold here two blocks with a vertical clamp. Like this I can put another horizontal clamp to press together the wooden strips. But I must make sure that I don't close the cut that I already made. But in this case the waste cut is minimal, so I hope it won't give too much problems with kit back. As I mentioned before, I don't want to turn the saw on, on the table, because sometimes the cutting disc doesn't fit into the slot that I am making on the tabletop. So I have to move the small strip backwards. I moved the small strip forward again, and this time I didn't move anything else, and I kept the cutting disc into the slot that I am cutting on the tabletop. Now I only have to check the result. And well, it is not as straight as it looks in the video, but for a makeshift cut it is pretty good, and it will work well for the wooden wall that I am making. Thanks for watching! And if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to click the bell to get all the notifications when I upload a new video.